Uh, so with that being said, anybody else has any questions? We're happy to, this is our last live of 2022 going into 2023. We're going to get a lot more deals. I want to know what your goals are for the next year as well. Tell me what your goals are. I'm, I, I want to know, we'll post them here, be, be accountable. This is live, this is staying on YouTube. So you will be accountable. You will look back at this next year and see, did we make those goals? So I'm going to say here. My goals for right now, I only do about one deal a month because I do work a full full time job. Okay. And I, so my goal is to up, up my average to two to three deals per month. Now, if I go more great, awesome. So, um, this was Shaniqua, I uh, said more deals, me too, but Put a number to that. How many deals? How many deals per month? How many deals total? Tell me what you want. All right. Now, uh, let's see. Larry Shepard said four more units. Uh, let's go 2023. Most definitely. Now, when you say four more units, do you mean duplex? How many doors total? All right. Um, four more properties, four more doors. Uh, let's do, let's get into some multifamily. Also, that's my goal for next year as well, is to start wholesaling some more multifamily units. That's what I want. Some test 10 plus units. That's what I want to do. So, uh, all right. So Kaiser said, the person I just had on, uh, I'm planning to buy 10 houses next year. Woo, 10 houses, awesome. So let's do that. You know, 10 houses, I, I definitely want to do 10. Uh, that'd be awesome. Now, I'm happy to look at any deal. If you want to come on the show or if you want, if I put out any deals, by all means, let me know. We can kind of go from there. Um, goal is one per one a month. Shaniqua, you said one a month. That's awesome. Let's keep to that goal and let's keep at it. So I, I completely understand that. That's, I started, I this year, the start of this year, I broke off from my partner and I started my own thing and I'm doing more JV deals. And by doing JV deals, I'm doing one per month. Now I'm starting to get my cold calling back, ramping back up. And so 2023, we're going to start getting that, that rolling. So I'm hoping to get more, more deals. So my goal is two to three deals per month. If I hit four to five, great, awesome. And Mike Mokhtar, four to five deals per month. That's awesome. And he's doing this with a full-time job too. So, you know, by all means, and if, if, if people like me and people like Mike can do it, anybody can do it. I'm not the smartest guy in the world by any means. I just fail a lot. So that's all. The more you fail, the more you learn. Anybody who tells you differently, they don't know what they're talking about. All right. So, um, so also 2023, let's fail some more so we can learn some more so we can get more deals and get better at it. 100%. So any more questions out there for anybody planning to do, you know, any more deals or, or want me to go over some more comping? If you, if you want me to comp a property right now, post the address in here. I'll comp it for you right here. Okay. Um, and keep in mind, I'm doing it the freeway, Redfin and Zillow. All right. If I have to go, I do have prop stream. If I have to go into prop stream, um, and I do have privy if I have to go in there. Um, so, uh, Mike said, absolutely. Mike Mokhtar absolutely can be done. It takes persistence and that is one consistency is the key. All right. Scott McCollum, you, you want me to do this address? Uh, 366, uh, one zero Schaefer. All right. No problem. I'll work on that. And three, six, six. One zero Schaefer 
Schaefer Street. Is this in Clinton Township? I'm gonna add this here. So, Scott, it is, Scott, I already did this on my last one. I already did this one. Did, was I not clear? So, yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, so, yeah, I remember this one here. And the issue that we have, I don't know. Um, I think the, the ARV, the after repair value for this property, um, I believe was, and I'll, I'll look through it again. And I think it was, uh, we're going to do Clinton Township here. There we go. You got to calm down here. So 16 and Grash it. It went gave me to the wrong state. And I'm probably spelling it wrong. All right. 48035. Let's do that. Sometimes it weirds out. There we go. There we go. All right. So Hey, Terry S. How you doing? If you have any questions, by the way, Terry S. Uh, happy to answer them for you. All right. So we're looking at, we need, this is 15 mile road. So you got 16 mile road over here. And our subject property is, I believe, just want to confirm right on here in North Schaefer and I am over here. So our subject property is right here and so this one is 240 this one so we we're in the last six months right now okay so we go the last three months okay and not really as a lot sold but we come back over here we have to look at the neighborhoods as well all right but you see this house right here this is a two-story ours is a ranch style um if you look at ours i remember this from last week and by the way, Scott, if you if you did look, uh, if it did cut out, um, by all means, it's on my YouTube channel. You can go back, look at it, and it's all recorded. You can look at what we had, what we've done. But I'm gonna go through it today again. All right. It doesn't look like the. It can be looks like it's attached, but it's set back a little bit that I can't verify that. So I'm gonna say it's a detached garage. Looks like a two car garage. All right. And uh, so just the last three months we're looking at, let's see here. Okay, so this one is a ranch that's detached and it's sold for 220 on October 21st. This is a decent one. This is at uh, 1,218 square feet. Ours is 975, so you can do the math back that, that way. Um, but if you go back, if we go back six months, now we're gonna have to take this in consideration. Um, so for instance, this sold in the same unit six months ago uh within six months so let's see how four months 
Okay, sold for 240. And it was moving ready and me I can see well maintained. So this was lived in. This was not a flip house. Okay, but it was lived in. It looks like it's fully furnished, uh, fully furnished basement, two car garage, hardwood floors, all appliances included. All right, so what I would do on this one. So you got your 240. You got 160. 161. This sold August 8th. This was probably, it looks like it's a fixer upper. So um, I think your after repair value. Okay, here is a flip house. Clean, straightforward, next uh, long term. Let's see here. Maintain. Okay, so no, this was lived in as well, but this is 203. I would be a, so I would put an after repair value on your house, probably at 200 to be conservative, but you could probably go up to about 210 to 215. Okay, so based on what I'm seeing here. All right, so let's look at this 240 and let's look at the per square foot number. All right. So this sold for 240, 240,000. Divide that by 1100. Okay, so that's 218. So 218, we're going to times that by 975. We're looking at 212. I would discount that a little bit because this sold four months ago. Okay, so I'm really honestly thinking like anywhere between two. 200 and 210 um, is your a after repair value. So I would do the, if you were to take that, we'll go 210 just to be on the conservative, or just to be, you know, we'll, we'll take 210. We're going to times that by um, out here, we'll do 75%. So you're looking at 157.5 is what you have to get it under contract for if everything's perfect. Now you have to subtract your budget and for a 90, 975, we're gonna times that by, we'll say, we'll say $40 a square foot. Okay, so that's 39,000, okay? So 157.5, I believe that's what I said. All right. And now we're gonna subtract 39,000. All right. You're looking at 118.5. That's what you have to buy it at. Or that's what you have to get it under contract minus your wholesale fee. So if you wanna make 10 grand on this, you have to get this at 108. You have to get on the contract for 108. So, um, a, a buyer would be a, a good buyer, roughly about uh, 119 ish. So, uh, does that does that help, uh, Scott? Let me know if you know. Hopefully, that helps you. Go back and look and see if I said the same thing because I don't remember. <laughs> so, um, I believe I did, but. Uh, as far as I didn't, I didn't give you an estimate on uh, rental cost or anything like that. I was just doing a light for a light reno carpet paint, maybe replacing the kitchen. You're looking at probably about forty dollars a square foot, and you you had uh, seven a uh, nine hundred and seventy five square feet. So that's how I came up with the thirty nine thousand.
okay that's a rough estimate by all means if you have to go through there go go through it and do it yourself um do your budget yourself so that's my opinion on that um hopefully that helps you out scott you think you didn't uh, cut out you know 